Hi there, it's Jim from Janku, and I just set up OBS Studio on my Ubuntu computer. This is Ubuntu 18, and currently it's running the GNOME desktop. Now there's a couple of settings I need to set up right out of the box. So first I'm going to expand my OBS Studio window here, and then I'm just going to come down here to the settings section. And I'm currently actually recording this video with OBS Studio. You can see that's recording right down there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the output section, and now I want to change my recording path here. So currently, every recording that I make gets saved to this home Jim A. Fisk, and this is the user of my Ubuntu computer here. Now I want this to go to a slightly different path, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create that folder, and then I'm just going to choose that folder with this browse section. So first I'll come over here to my file browser here, and I'm in my home directory currently, you can see that here, and this is actually the file that we're currently recording. Now I'm going to right click in here, I'm going to add a new folder, and I'll just call this OBS underscore recordings, and then I'll create that, and then I'll exit out of this window, and I'll come back over here to the recording path in the OBS Studio settings. Now this actually isn't going to let me browse to this file while I'm currently recording, so I'm actually going to hold down Control, Shift, Alt, and R, and I'm going to start up the Ubuntu default recorder. Now I've set this to a default record time of three minutes, and I showed how to do that in a previous video, so if you're interested, you can check that out. But I'm going to record that, and I'll come down here, and I'm going to stop my OBS recording real quick. So I'm gonna get on my settings here, and I'll just stop this recording. Okay, so we're over here now using the default Ubuntu recording software, and I'm dubbing over this afterwards since that doesn't record audio. And I'm gonna go back to our settings here, and then go to the output section on the left-hand side. And now I can change this recording path. I'm gonna browse my files, and I'm gonna look up the OBS underscore recordings folder that we made, and I'll select this. And you can see that that path has changed there. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I want to change the recording format, and that's basically what kind of file we output after we're done recording. So right now it's currently set to FLV. Now I'm going to change this to MP4. So you see that we have the FLV file right there currently. If I try to play it, I actually can't play it on my computer currently because I don't have the required software. I'll come back here. And I'll update that format. I'm going to choose MP4. If I start up a new recording here, and we're currently recording, you'll see that this is actually recording into our new folder. So this is our old video here, but if we go to OBS recordings, this is our new recording that we're currently recording, and you can see that it's coming in MP4 format. So if I were to stop this and start a new one, just so we can play this old video, you can see it. So I'll stop this recording here. So if we come back over here, we go to our OBS recordings, you notice that we actually aren't able to play the MP4 either. So what we actually have to do is we have to install some additional software. What you can do is you can open up your terminal. Let me bump this up a little bit. And do a sudo apt git install ubuntu hyphen restricted hyphen extras. Just add your password. And then say yes. Say okay, we'll accept the licensing term. And now this is allowing us to view non-free media formats, so things like DVD, MP3, QuickTime, things like that. Okay, now we can get out of this program. If we come back and we try to run our MP4, if I start up a new recording here, you can see that that's now working. So we can and we're that. currently recording. We You'll should also be able to run our FLV file here that we had exported previously. Hi there, it's Excellent. Jim from Janku, and now, I just set up OBS Studio. Now note that I changed this format here in the settings to use MP4 by default. So if you go to your output settings, I change this to be an MP4 format. That's what OBS is recording in by default. Now I do that because the video editing software that I use, which is Olive, there's a bug in there that if you put it in an FLV format, the first few seconds of audio gets cut out automatically. Now keep in mind that you have this warning here that says, recording saved to MP4 will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized. So for instance, if your screen recorder stops for any reason, you actually won't be able to recover that file. So if you keep it as the FLV format, you can go back in here and you can recover a file even if your program were to close accidentally. So if you stop your video recorder, you can go and you could change that back. 
Okay. Well, thanks for watching this video. That's all we're going to cover with this tutorial. Hopefully it's helpful in getting OBS Studio set up and we'll be in touch with more of this kind of content in the future. Thanks for watching.